careful what you think because it goes out in your energy and impacts your world. And one night in 1996, I was working in crisis care and a client three times my size cornered and attacked me and attacked me and attacked me. And when it was all over, I had a brain injury. So get this, I couldn't use my eyes because what I saw was all distorted. <laughs> like I'd look at a building and I'd say, that building doesn't look like that. Or I'd try to read a menu on a wall in a restaurant and it would be wiggling the whole time I was trying to read it. But the worst part was I lost my short-term memory. So yeah, I couldn't really use my eyes 17 months, but I lost my short-term memory for three years. And what does that mean? It means I couldn't follow a conversation. So the universe wanted to send me a message, a very powerful message. I didn't belong working mainstream psychology, working mainstream techniques in a government facility. I was supposed to get out of that world and into the world of energy. You see, I had to go within. I couldn't follow a conversation because by the time you got to the end of the sentence, well, I didn't know what you said at the beginning. So I couldn't follow a conversation. I couldn't really use my eyes much. I was in terrible pain because when you get hit a lot and your brain slashes back and forth, it swells. It swells and that means it's hitting the inside of the bony ridge up there. So what was I supposed to do? Well, it was a clear message from the universe to go within and guess what I discovered? Your whole world happens within. Nothing's happening out there. It all happens within. Your interpretation of events, it all happens within. So I was in that place of learning who I was in a way I'd never learned before. I did yoga and I did meditations and boy, it didn't let me know what I was creating within. So here's how the universe worked. Here's what I learned. I was in a lot of pain and I thought, well, maybe I'll go to my massage therapist. And he had left the doctor's office where I knew him and he was in his own private practice in a small co-op. There were three or four healthcare practitioners in there. So I got to see him there, but I also told him what happened. And he took me across the hall to somebody who worked with Niken magnets and far infrared, which was critical in my initial healing. And she took me to another person in this small co-op who did Reiki. So every time I was with that person, the energy stopped the pain. That's how the universe works. Whatever you need is there. And you know what? The universe had been telling me messages for months and months, but they were whispers that I ignored. So it had to get loud and in my face or upside my head is more appropriate. So when the universe is talking to you, and I guarantee the universe is talking to you constantly, not necessarily warning you of stuff, but guiding you of how to make your life easier. And if you want to get an understanding of how the universe is communicating with you and how, listen carefully, how your brain and your mind keep you stuck. Because your brain and your mind aren't creating your world with the universe. No, because that's your ego mind and it's fighting to stay alive and it has you starting up here. Well, this up here doesn't connect up to the universe where when you ask for manifestation of things, it doesn't happen from your mind. It happens from your heart. Have you ever heard the joke, want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. How many times have you, I know I certainly did it, set out following what teachers, what mentors were saying, do step A and then do step B and then do step C. And that's how you create a business. It's all up here.
That's not going to create your business. Your business comes from here, down in your heart first. Because your heart, your heart connects to the knowing. Your heart connects to the universe that's listening and gives back to you the energy you're putting out, the request you're putting out, the actual, dare I say, commands you're putting out. Because that's the job of the knowing of the universe, to hear your clear, your clarity, stated messages for your desires in your life, and giving back to you what you've been asking for. And I have something for you. It's something I created very shortly after the injury happened, all those life changes happened, and more than a thousand people downloaded it. And many of them wrote to me to tell me how it changed their lives. So there's a link down below. And if you go down and you click that link, it'll take you over to my book that was actually on the bestsellers list for 15. That's one, five, 15 months because it was changing lives and somebody would have a positive impact and they'd share it with somebody else and they'd share it with somebody else. 15 months is a long time for a little book and it's little. I think it's only 34 pages and it's digital. 15 months is a long time for a book that I've never advertised, that I've never marketed to stay on the bestsellers list. So if you're ready to find out how to actually create your reality, how to take advantage of the parts of your brain mind that support you, and to stop looking toward the systems up here that are keeping you stuck and will always keeping you stuck because your ego mind does not want to disappear and on that note what do you think happens when you're sleeping your mind isn't working oh let's see no mind no thoughts no mind so that's not what's driving your life. Your heart being incoherence is what's driving your heart. You start in your heart, then you can connect to your mind and brain. But it's got to start down here if you want to truly manifest your desires. The book is called What You Don't Know You Don't Know how your brain and mind keep you stuck. Again, follow the link down below and you'll find a pleasant surprise and a way to make it even easier to put all that information into you. I look forward to connecting with you. Together, let's make some changes. I thank you for joining me here today for this week's edition of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to check the show notes for the links I mentioned. And once again, I want to remind you to enjoy capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing happens out there, and everything happens within.